Hey peeps, it's Nox, and today we're here with the follow-up for the video I did with the new company, well new to me, the one with the diamond art. Dot com. Uh, but before we get into that, I do want to cover a few things. First things first, I do have neuropathy in my hands. can make me make weird, stretchy motions sometimes during the course of the video. Just me trying to get out pain, swelling, kinks. I am not signaling for help. Please don't send rescue. Secondly, I do have several people who live in my household, may not realize I'm filming, come in and say hi. And thirdly, and most importantly, my channel supports LGBTQIA+, Black Lives Matter, neurodiversity, women's rights, body positivity, freedom of religion, including the freedom to have no religion, diversity, and inclusiveness in general. If this is something that bothers you, I'm going to have to ask you to not like, not comment, and not subscribe. Just go find a different channel. For those of you stuck around, welcome to Punks and Crafts. So if you remember from my last video, or if you haven't seen it, check up in the eye and go catch it. Um, I tried out a new to me company, which is the one with the diamondart.com, which will be linked down in the description box. I did have two diamond paintings in that order, one of which was rendered very darkly. I uh, did contact the company. They agreed it was also rendered darkly and sent me a new one. So. This has been sitting at my house for a little while. I did have, um, as most of you probably know, some issues which uh, caused me to be a little MIA for about a month and a half. So this has been sitting here for almost that entire month and a half. I do apologize for it taking so long for me to get to it. But uh, now that it, we're here, let's see what's in here. I will say there's a hole in the bottom of this bag. Let's see if I can show you here the way it was delivered. This is not the company's fault. This is entirely delivery, but I just want to let you know, um, the bag itself has ribbing bubble wrap here, but not at the bottom. So you can in fact see the canvas. I point that out in case there is any damage. It is most likely due to shipping issues. Okay. I don't want to cut any of the contents, so I'm trying to be nice and careful here. Don't have any of my co-hosts today because everyone's at work. But I wanted to get this out. Sorry for the weird wide pan and a view of all my messy clutter table. I'm not organized, but um, I wanted you to be able to see as much of this canvas as possible, so I've kind of got you on a wide pan, which shows off my lovely, awful colored carpet, and uh, again, the, the mess that is my table. All right, so... Okay, so... We have... A toolkit, which comes in a nice mesh reusable bag. It has a boat, a clear sparkly applicator pen, metal sharp tweezers, a purple squishy, some cute little washi tape. Look at that cat. And a deer and acorns. It's like a nice little fall washi tape. I love fall, so I'm good with this. We've got some pink wax and a little plastic container. And three multi-placers, the uh, thick kind. So that's what's in there. I'll put that away and get to the good stuff here. All right, we'll check out drills in a bit because we want to see if the rendering on this one is any better. So sticker directly on the canvas not thrilled with that but it's not the end of the world because it's not going to tear the canvas so nice branding the one with the diamond art i'll put that on the drill back pack over here all right so this is poured glue so i'm going to roll it backwards really quick so we can get it to lay flat real fast if you get anything that is double-sided adhesive, which means it'll have an opaque, non-see-through cover on it, uh, do not roll that backwards. You could mess up the glue. But 
we have more glue here. So let's see what we got. All right. So the way it was packed caused creasing in the middle. I don't. I might be able. I, I think this is something I can fix with my iron. But it is straight along the middle here. I don't think that's just plastic. Let's see. No, it is creased into the canvas. That helped a little bit, but not a lot. I'll turn this around so you can see. I actually have two lines, this one being the worst one where it creased. This is actually a pretty thin and soft canvas material, which normally is actually, I, I don't, I like, but it does make it easier for it to crease. If you get something like this, my suggestion personally would be to get a low temperature iron or, um, you know, something that, that's warm at a low temperature, make sure you replace the cover with like release papers or, um, parchment paper that is suited for the glue, but you know, I have tons of these release papers. These don't melt with heat. This plastic, clear plastic might. So you want to be careful. And depending on how hot your iron goes, you can either in very short stints, put it directly on the canvas. Or if it runs a little hotter, I would suggest putting like a thin towel or blanket between the canvas and your iron and just use it to kind of flatten out these creases like you would a shirt. So little tip there. Otherwise this looks much better than the other one. It has extremely clear symbols. I, I saw that in the first go. My, my only concern was that I lost a lot of detail due to rendering. In fact, you know, what? I'm going to put you in hold for a minute. I'm going to go get the old one so you can see a comparison. All right. So as you can see, this is the first one I got. We lost a whole lot of detail. Almost all of this section is one solid color. So this is why I contacted them, but you can see a, Ooh, as I have things falling down, <laughs> you can see a drastic change in the detail. Everything is much brighter. You can see these masks better. We don't lose the detail of the background here, especially over here where it was extremely dark over there. So we've got details in the dress. It's, it's definitely like a thousand times better. My only concern again is these creases, but that can be fixed hopefully with my iron. I don't see why not. I've had worse creases than that, that I fixed with an iron. So this one is 34 colors. Was that the original two? The one. Okay. So the first one they gave me was 35 colors. This one is 34. Um, but that does change in rendering when you make changes to lighting and things like that. So there was probably one small color that got knocked off cause it wasn't necessary anymore. So yes, this is much better. Um, I already did a measuring tape thing to see if it's true to size, but let's double check this one should be a 50 by 60, which is just a fraction under 50 and don't mind my reach here. Oh, cause I'm way up here. There we go. And just a fraction under 60. So measures true to size. Check the stickiness. I can already tell it's going to be sticky. Yeah, plenty sticky. From what I can see at first hand, it looks like the glue's applied pretty evenly. That sometimes you can't tell until you diamond start diamond painting, though. Let's see another potential crease building up here, so I'm gonna fix that. There we go. Okay, so yeah, I'm much happier with this one. I just. Uh, I will try to let you guys know if this crease came out okay. And um, I may actually, I'm considering working on this for drills and chills so I can give you guys an idea of the quality. Let's look at the drills. If I can find the opening. 
There we go. Alright, so this one's around. And comes with paper inventory sheet. Nice big printing, so easy to see, especially if you want to use uh, like a sticker maker to make labels for your containers with this. Well, should be pretty easy to see. It's printed fairly clearly. All the drills are in individual baggies. So you don't have to kit up if you would rather just work out of baggies. It has the DMC number as well as your kit number, I believe. Let's see. Yeah. So it's, I don't see the kit number on the canvas itself. I'm trying to double check. So no, you can't cross-reference the kit number with the canvas, but you can cross-reference it with your inventory sheet, which does have a picture of your canvas. So that kit number, for example, is that R20033 is on here. So in a way, you still can figure out which canvas your drills go with, even though it's not on the canvas itself, or I'm missing it. But I'm pretty sure it's not on here. What is on the canvas is your information, the website, the Instagram, and the Facebook. And down here, you've got the canvas name with the artist's name, the shape of the drills, and the size of the canvas as well as two legends and little thumbnail images of your canvas as well. So pretty, pretty cool there. Um, let's pull out a tray and take a look at some of these drills. See what kind of quality we're looking at here. So so far, not really any concerning amount of trash. I'm not really seeing any trash at all. The drills are reasonably shiny. And uh, I'm going to pull it a little closer to my face here. Yeah, those facets look pretty clear. Not a lot of uh, holes or um, dents, things like that. So these drills look pretty good and like I said they're they're already all pre baggied so don't need to worry about using up a container if you don't mind working out of bags I'm gonna attempt to get this back in the bag <laughs> not spilling it everywhere all right um, I'm gonna do a quick check to see if we got all of the drills so I'm gonna put you guys on a bit of a fast forward Okay, so it looks like we have all of the drills and uh, had a few that were escaping, but I can't seem to find an open bag. So hopefully they were just chilling out in the other bag. Oh wait, nope, here it is, I'm blind. <laughs> so this one's got a few escapees. Fix that really quick. <laughs> bag was sealed too, so I'm not sure how that Maybe it just got sealed before all the drills got in fully. I only lost like four drills, not a big deal. So yeah, this is uh, all here, all good. I think, uh, again, my, my only complaint to this time is that crease in the canvas and I'll see what I can do about it. Um, if you uh, wanna get updates on the quality of the actual canvas while I'm working on it, I would suggest following me over on Instagram. That's where I post most of my progress photos. That will be down in the description box. Um, so generally speaking, uh, considering 
the price of this place is pretty cheap. The customer service was great. Um, there are still a few issues that I have, but they seem willing to work them out. And uh, they're a brand new company. There's always going to be some kinks at the very beginning. So for personal opinion, so far I would actually strongly suggest this company if you want to try out something new. It's, uh, I think it's worthwhile. They got a lot of images. They have a ton of Jasmine Beckett Griffith, but they also have a lot of other artists. They're all legally licensed artwork. And, uh, yeah. So, I mean, it's, I think it's a good company to, to try. And the more we try them out, the better they can put out new quality stuff. So maybe, you know, we don't have tiny issues like this in the future. Like I said, this kind of thing is usually pretty easy to fix. There are some kinds of creases that are hard and impossible to fix. I don't think this is going to be one of those. I think this is actually a pretty simple fix. Um, and my other canvases didn't have creases, so it's not like a, as far as I can tell, not a common problem. This might have just been like a fluky, this canvas, and it may have been from sitting in the packaging for a month and a half in my... Uh, to be unboxed box so <laughs> could be a combo thing um but yeah if you're thinking about trying out this company i would suggest it if nothing else um just for something new if you have any uh questions about this please feel free to leave it in the comment section i probably did forget to cover something i'm a little airheaded right now and lacking a co-host as i said earlier but i wanted to get this out as I've had a couple requests now for the update, and I'm honestly a month and a half behind, so here we are. Sorry for the um, spazzy airheadedness, but yes, if I miss something and you want to know about it, please put your question down in the comment section, and I will get to it as quickly as I can. If uh, you're not already subscribed to my channel and you would like to be, go ahead and hit the subscribe button before you go. Definitely also hit the bell, that way you get notified anytime I put up a video, as I don't post on any sort of schedule. Because I am an agent of chaos, if you couldn't tell. And I am fueled by the exhaustion of child rearing multiple medical conditions in an ADHD slash autistic brain. As well as a lot of extra stress on top of my normal stress right now. So yeah, you want to hit the bell. That way you can get notified. Otherwise, this is where I'm going to say bye, guys. Bye.